Reducing mass and weight of the components in your product can produce major benefits such as improved efficiency and reduced material costs. But figuring out how to reduce mass without compromising structural integrity can be a real challenge. Topology optimization can help you find the best lightweight shape for your parts that will still meet your performance requirements. This demonstration will show how you can use SimCenter 3D with NXNAS Trans Topology Optimization to get the best shape for a new airplane seat bracket design. Topology optimization is a finite element based approach and we first begin with a mesh for the entire design space where the part could live. So the end bracket we want to design could fit anywhere within this green mesh. We also designate areas in the space where the bracket will connect to the seats and we color those in red. For this seat bracket, we want to minimize mass with an upper limit of 2.5 kilograms. We also put fixed constraints on the bottom bracket connections where it will connect to the floor. NX NASTRAN topology optimization allows an analyst to dig deeper than what can be done with a designer level topology optimization tool. For example, topology optimization in NX NASTRAN can support multiple solutions based on the same model to study the effects of different load cases and analysis types. In this case, we define two loads. One is a vertical load of a 99th percentile passenger in the seat during turbulence. The other is a horizontal load, like when a passenger in the row behind pulls on the chair to get up. After we define the design space and keep out regions for the optimization run, we define a manufacturing constraint. Since this will be a die cast part, we can define the pull direction, which means the optimization process will not create any internal cavities or undercuts that would make it impossible to remove the part from the mold. After defining the max number of iterations, we can solve the model. To view topology optimization results, we look at the density plot, and we can see the conceptual shape the solver was able to converge to based on the loading conditions. We can also animate through all of the iteration so you can see how the part took shape. Now to turn this concept into a usable part, we can export this shape as a facet body. To do this, we select the density level that we want, 0.5 in this case, and then export. We can then go into the modeling module within SimCenter 3D and import the STL file we just created. We can also open the design space geometry and then use SimCenter 3D's geometry tools to trace the outline of the facet body and then cut the design space part until we have the desired shape we want. NX NASTRAN topology optimization helps CAE analysts use advanced capabilities to execute design concept studies and determine the best shape to meet your performance requirements. Visit Siemens PLM today to learn more about SimCenter 3D and NX NASTRAN.